इस ब्लूमबर्ग यू टीवी This is Talk Back. I'm Hindul Sen Gupta. Delighted to welcome on the show today the president of the Bharatiya Janata Party, the new president, should I say, of the Bharatiya Janata Party, Nitin Gadkari. Nitin Gadkari, thanks very much indeed thanks. for being on the show. Thank you. Let me then begin by asking you: a lot of people have their hopes, as I was saying, pinned on you. Can you revive a party which has increasingly seemed fractured? squabbling in the last few months can you and after a critical defeat in a big election in your mind what is the first thing that you must do to revive the party so that in a democratic system india gets a real strong opposition actually frankly speaking in the life of the political party they have to face many defeats and victory defeats doesn't mean that it is the fall on of the party and victory doesn't mean that it is the rise of the party this is the unique thing which happens in the life of a political party in the democracy will make miracles what people are expecting from us when i came to interview you a very senior leader in your party who at the moment shall remain unnamed said a very interesting thing about you because there's been so much debate about is he an organization man can he be a charismatic leader which mold will he go and a very senior leader in your party said actually you are just what the party needs it needs an unassuming efficient organization man it does not need one more ego driven charismatic some would say a leader it needs somebody to rebuild the steel frame of the party do you see yourself in that mold do you see yourself as the quintessential unassuming organization man who doesn't so much seek limelight himself but wants to build the party the biggest uh, qualification for me is that i am a small worker of the party and whatever the creation by me either in the government or in the organization it is because of my samskar which is given by my party to me rss is a part of my life conviction and vidyarthi parishad which mold me and give me a life approach to do something for the country and the society and a poor man i feel that politics is a instrument of socio economic reform and i am working as a mission whatever the task given by party i always accept that task now it is for the presidentship it is a big task it is a difficult job i know that what are the problems with me i will explain you one equation in mathematics certainly a workers work x square and b worker works b square the total work is a square plus b square but when a and b comes together and if they works a plus b bracket square the the equation equal to a square plus b square plus twice ab this twice ab is because of collective team spirit that's right so our party presently need mutual trust discipline and collective team spirit i also have faith in the party one is decentralization of organization and division of power i am a management student and by taking advantage of my management skill i want to create the lot of thousands of people who are working like a self start engine i will fulfill your expectations let me ask you then you are perhaps one of those rare politicians who begins an answer by saying i know what are the problems with me let me then ask you in your mind what is your core strength i have no ego i never minds and implement any type of protocols i don't expect people to treat me as a president i am behaving like a worker i am going to every room i am going to every leader's house i doesn't feel that i am a president come to me give me respect and i am just working like a small karyakarta at this point in time there's a big budget coming up india is going through economic crisis once again we have a huge food inflation as the main opposition party who do we who do you and indeed your party really criticize 
for the kind of food problems, food price problems that the, that the government and indeed the country is facing today? I want to tell you one thing. I don't want to blame a single minister. I want to blame for this complete UPA. Two years before, government exported sugar by 13 rupees, 13 rupees per kg, giving them import subsidy and transport subsidy. That's right. And now we are importing sugar by 36 rupees per kg from Brazil. This is the situation. That's right. We are giving price to our farmers for wheat, 9 rupees 50 paisa. And we are importing wheat from the abroad by 16 rupees. I never understand the priority of the government. What according to your, in I your mind, tell you, what because would be the of biggest the change? Because of the commodity exchange, yes. because of the speculators, manipulators, corporates, multinationals, they are taking the advantage of the situation. There are some companies who are dealing with this wheat, rice and sugar. Their share price is increased by 300%. This is because of wrong economic policies of this government. I never understand what is the priority of the government. They are purchasing some aeroplane cost of 70,000 crores for Air India when there is no roads for the people in the villages. There is no schools are available to the boys because of the malnutrition, lacks of tribal uh, students, tribal childs are, they are, they are suffering a lot of problems. And in this situation, the priority of the government is purchasing the aircrafts.